occasion of Nigeria's 62nd independence anniversary is an opportunity to celebrate the nation's achievements and for citizens to rededicate themselves to promote and defend the nation's common interests over self-interests. Governor Uzadimma disclosed this at the Rear Admiral Ndubisi Kanu Square in Oweri, the most state capital and venue of this year's 62nd anniversary. 62 years down the line, we've made some progress in the task of building a nation. But we have also recorded some failures. The truth is that it is not yet to rule for Nigeria. Therefore, this occasion of celebrating the 22nd anniversary of our independence is one we should use for sober reflection on the journey so far. In Anambra, the Dr. Alex Ekweme Square Orca came alive with bright colors of uniforms of various security formations, the paramilitary, and schools. Addressing the people of Anambra, the governor remembers Queen Elizabeth II and all she stood for in Nigeria's story, even as he goes on to celebrate all who believe that a better Nigeria is possible. Yes, we also celebrate our founding fathers, who fought and sung with their blood to give us a new nation, on which we must all now fight to preserve and to grow to become the largest black nation on earth. It was a somber mood at the Civic Center in Port Harcourt, venue of the 62nd Independence Anniversary and the last in the lifespan of the Nyesom Wiki administration in River State. After inspecting the guards and observing the traditional march past performed by the Nigeria police and some students in the state, Governor Wike says Nigeria deserves more than it has achieved. Our country and our people deserve access to sustainable economic opportunities, a friendly business environment, stable and affordable energy, gainful employment, quality and affordable health care and education across all levels, an effective public transport system, food security, and a better quality of life, not the hardship, sufferings, and the hopeless future of the present. <laughs> In similar vein, Governor Shei Makinde in his Independence Day address notes that it may not be time to roll out the drums just yet, as the nation is still grappling with ways to achieve her full potential. <laughs> Governor Makinde, who was represented by his deputy, Mr. Bayo Lawal, at the Independence Day parade at the Lake Consalami Stadium, Adama Simba, Ibadan points out that in 62 years of nationhood, Nigeria has had a checkered history. And in Abe Okuta, the Ogun State capital, Governor Dapwa Biodun joined other dignitaries to celebrate the nation's 62nd independence anniversary. Addressing residents at the event held at the Moshu Dabiola Stadium in the state capital, the governor appreciated them for their support for his policies. May I dear people of Ogun State, in the spirit of today's celebration, let me enjoin us that as we celebrate this anniversary, we should continue to promote peaceful coexistence, socioeconomic development, and respect for the rule of law. The Mobolaji Johnson Arena, Onikon Stadium in Lagos, is the venue for the 62nd Independence Day Parade. The paramilitary forces are well dressed for the parade as they await the arrival of Governor Babajide Sonwulu. He immediately inspects the guard. I want to enjoin every one of us to focus on issues and refrain from politics of division, ethnicity, bigotry, or diversity. We must respect divergent opinions and respect the fact that the beauty of democracy lies in the fact that we will not all share the same ideological and political views. He assures the citizens of more people-oriented projects ahead of the 2023 general elections.